How's it going everybody? This is Josh Phillips from Spawn Flyfish here from Ilwaco, Washington. Figured we would stop in today. We're gonna to be tying up some crawfish using quite a few different spawn products. Really excited to show you these. So we're gonna get after it. We're gonna start off with a Arex size six, AX0774. This hook pairs really nicely with our jig shanks and we're going to show exactly how that pair works today. So to start off, we're taking a patch out of a Fly Tires variety pack from Whiting Farms and we're going to just build up a little bit of profile on the very front of this hook. This is a short shank hook, so every wrap here is important. Not a lot of room to get everything done that we need to. And this is a grizzly orange feather. like so. Next, we're gonna take some rubber legs, and there's a ton of different rubber legs you can use for this. Um, these are some just crawfish brown speckled rubber legs. We're gonna tie those in at the bottom. Now we're going to take some easy shrimp eyes and we're going to sneak those in right like so. You're gonna have to trim off some of this excess tab there. As I said previously, this is a really short shanked hook. don't want that to stick out on the edge. All right, as you can see already, that crawfish look is coming to life. All right, so now we're gonna take some crawfish orange rabbit strips, and we're gonna tie one on each side of this hook shank. They don't need to be really long, but we do need to make sure that they're securely fastened. right on the side of the hook shank. One. 
And you can use uh, squirrel strips right there as well. It's a good uh, substitute for the rabbit. All right, you can kind of see that coming together there. Now we're going to take some Spawn Semi Seal Sand Dab Brown. We're just going to place it right like so. Work it onto there a little bit. Work it back. And then we're going to use a little bit of a softer dubbing bail over it and that's going to be our Senio's laser dub rusty brown Alrighty, so you can kind of see this crawfish coming to life here. And now we are going to implement a few more spawn products. So we're going to use 90 degree jig shank and pair it with the 7.5 millimeter slotted tungsten football beads, like so. Take some lead-free wire and secure that bead. And tie down the shank. See that pattern starting to come to life and the rest of this fly is very simple so we're going to take some spawn semi seal here back to the sand dab scope and blend which makes for a really nice crawfish color here and we're just going to start working our way up the shank of this jig shank starting to come together here. This is going to hit the bottom at an angle and this back section is going to kick on each strip. Continuing to work our way up the shank. Make sure we're getting an even distribution. This is another opportunity where if you're super particular about it, you could use a dubbing loop here. But following suit of what I usually do, I'm just getting it on there. The fastest uh, and simplest way. All right, so now we're headed back to our Senio's Laser Dub Rusty Bronze to finish off this fly. Line up these fibers nice and long so they're gonna cover up this. We're gonna put this softer dubbing on top of our fly. It's gonna really give it that crawfish look.
really be sure you get this evenly distributed along the bottom and top of your fly. We will brush this out. Sneak in a little more semi seal there. There we go. Walk together nicely. And now we are going to just dub our thread here, and give it that rusty bronze collar, kind of blend those colors into the bead. Whip finish, and we are done. Like I said earlier, we're gonna brush this out a little bit. Really get that rusty bronze and that sand dab semi seal to come together. And that is that. It's gonna hit the bottom and that back section of this fly is gonna kick and the football beads are gonna keep that from rolling. Hope you enjoy that fly. It's gonna be a really good bass fly for us this year. We're super excited to integrate more spawn products into the flies we use. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great day.